All right, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome uh, to our certificate workshop. My name is Marnie Hernandez. Glad you guys could join us. Um, if you're brand new with us, welcome. This is a fun little uh, workshop that we do together um, to learn about different destinations, different vendors, different places, et cetera. So um, it's just very casual, okay? So relax, let's have fun. Um, the reason I started doing these is my accountability partner. If you guys don't have one yet, please sign up for one. Uh, the form is right here, and I'm actually going to be doing a training on it this Thursday, okay? So hopefully you guys can join me. But my accountability partner kept telling me, Marnie, when are you going to finish the princess training so we can go on the free cruise together? And I kept saying, I'll do it, I'll do it. And of course, it took over a year, actually five years to do it. But anyway, when she kept bugging me, over a year, I kept saying I'd do it. Finally, I'm like, you know what? The only way I'm going to make sure I do this is to put it on my computer and sit down and do it, okay? And then I thought, well, since I'm doing this, why don't I invite my team to do it with me? So I said, hey, anybody want to join me? And that's how we started doing this. And I thought, this is kind of fun. Um, once you fill out the farm. Okay, usually the accountability partners, I match up about every month, month and a half. So usually I wait till after the meeting. So this Thursday, I'm doing the meeting because I wanna make sure I get everybody available. Um, and then um, I want to, because I try to match you up with two or three people, okay, um, within your area. So I will be matching them up this weekend, okay? All right. But um, anyway, so what happened is um, we started having fun doing these, and um, I, I ended up doing three, four nights or four days a week, okay? So think of ones that you guys want to do. Now, I just want to show you that, you know, we've been doing this for a while. So we do actually Sandy Gunderson, amazing, amazing. She takes care of these incentive vouchers for us to so tell her thank you. But um, she's actually created this form for us. So if you haven't received this form or got into it, first off, all the trainings are right here um, for each month. She actually puts the link in. So like I said, we're gonna be doing Uganda and Brazil. Get in and register ahead of time if you guys can. Um, but right here is the actual spreadsheet of all the trainings that we have already done, okay? Um, as you know, I'm recording it, and I will put it on my YouTube channel, which I'll share that with you. But right here, guys, um, is a spreadsheet, and I'll put it in the chat, okay? Ooh, she's changed the colors. What's the, the purples mean, um, Sandy? Are you here? She color codes, I think, for herself, but we'll see. All right, so as you see, these are all programs that you can register. You can do these trainings on your own, but they're kind of fun when we do them together, especially, like I said, Disney, Princess. Those are hard ones. And when you take the test, we had like 45 people on with um, Disney, and we still missed four or five questions, okay? Um, but as you see, Bahamas. So here's my YouTube channel. And then here's the, um, here's the uh, program to sign up for it, okay? The ones in yellow are what we're doing this month, okay? Um, and as you can see, these are all destinations. Um, and then we have the cruises. We just completed Princess. Yes, this is the training for Colorado. Um, here is the link. So get in and register. We're gonna get started here in just a couple minutes. So there's the link, okay? But I'm just showing you that once we're done with the training, it'll be on this form. Um, if for any reason you have to jump off. Um, the reason I'm saying that is make sure like with Princess and Disney, get in and finish those. California, we're going to finish that group. Um, you're going to get a package in the mail. A lot of times when we do these trainings, you get a lot of promotions invited to events. We just went to one. Um, they invited us out to Maggiano's for a, a lunch and learn. OK, it was five hotels out of Mexico. Got a free lunch, got all kinds of goodies and stuff. So definitely, yes, for company name, always, always put Archer Travel. Perfect, Christy. Congratulations. Yeah. Again, you guys can do these all on your own, but if you want to do them with us, you'll have the schedule and uh, start thinking for next month. Uh, we're going to finish Canard. We're going to do uh, Saudi Arabia. No, we did Saudi. We have to finish that, I think. Fiji. Um, 
North Carolina. Um, that's going to be yours, Melissa. I think um, I think it asks for your your address because you want stuff mailed to you. I think it only asks for the Archer Travel name. Is that correct? All right, guys. Yeah, congratulations. California is kind of fun. Did you guys that finish? Did you guys get your packet in the mail? Uh, right here, you go to register. Again, guys, try to remember going ahead of time. As you see, I've, I've got the flyer out there. I posted. It's in all the chats um, where you can um, go in and pre-register. Okay, guys? Um, some of them may take a little while. So here's the, the links for it. And then again, as you can see, um, uh, Sandy also has the link right here where you can just click on it and automatically go in and get registered. Okay. My bestie is going to be joining. Yay. Yeah. See, again, that's what's fun. All my kids are finally, my son, it's funny. He's in Disney World and Universal right now using his free tickets that he didn't want to go. You know, he didn't want to be part of the, um, the travel company. Okay. Let me see if I can find him. And, um, and then when he found out they're going to Disney World, um, he's like, how do I get free tickets, mom? Okay, he hasn't posted on here. I think in Instagram he does. Um, let me see if I can find him. But yeah, so he decided a month ago, I'm going to sign up. He got his CLIA card. He got his free tickets to Disney World and Universal Studios. So he's there now. Um, so definitely, guys, um, share with your family and friends because you know, we've got an amazing opportunity here. Why isn't he posting anything about his, his trip? He's a, a detective, so maybe he's trying to Cassandra here. So here they are in uh, Disney World. Ah! Oh, it's on our site here. Let me see. So there's her cup. Da, 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 da. So there are their Universal Studios. You guys get free tickets to Universal Studios, a three day, three park hopper pass, guys. Take advantage of these, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Do these tickets also pay? No, the airfare, you have to usually pay your own airfare, but go into Spirit and get a penny fare, okay? All right. So um, right here are all the trainings that we've done, okay? So there's the link. Um, also my YouTube channel right here. If you guys are new, if you wanna use the, our, my vouch, my um, whatever training on it, accountability or on our incentive vouchers, or how about you know sharing the um, opportunity right here, travel business opportunity, you guys can do that. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, okay. How long before we, um, I'm doing it this weekend? Because what I'm doing the, for the accountability guys, I'm doing um, a training on that Thursday. And then this weekend, I'm going to match everybody up. Okay. I don't know what we're going to get for Colorado because it's a new one. We haven't done it. So we're going to see. All right. So everybody in, everybody registered. Let's log in. Colorado concierge, be recognized as a certified Colorado concierge. Click here for more information, okay? So we're gonna do training, all right? Um, okay, Jeremiah, go ahead. If you guys, if your partner's not working out, fill this form out again, and then I'll match you up again, okay? Don't let, you know, don't get discouraged. Just go ahead, get new partners. We'll keep doing it till you, till you mesh, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Oops, let me get out of that. Okay. All right, let's get started. Everybody good? Everybody registered? If you are new, okay, what happens is a lot of people will either do split screens, they'll follow along on their phone and do the test online. So it's up to you how you want to do it. I suggest, though, make sure you take the test with us. You don't want to go through this training and then have to go back and do the test again, right? So just keep that in mind. All right, uh, Jeffrey, fill out that form I just sent. Sorry, dear. Yeah, I don't think this is plugged in. That's probably why that's not working, because um, that's not lighting up either. 
So yeah, fill out that accountability form and I'll match you up this weekend, guys. Come to my training also on, um, on uh, Wednesday, Thursday. I know, um, Sandy, are you on? Sandra, Sandra Gunderson, I know she was on earlier. Um, she color codes them for some reason. So I don't know why she put purple. Maybe those are ones that she's, maybe she's going through and updating her list. But um, either way, um, the yellow ones are ones we're doing this month. Okay, we're doing Michigan next Tuesday. We're gonna do um, Uganda tomorrow or Friday. And we're doing Brazil Saturday. Thursdays, um, Thursday, 5 p.m. is our voucher training, okay? Um, it'll be posted in all the chats. Um, it was out on the schedule. So it's on uh, Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific, this same Zoom, okay? You'll learn about the accountability program and the incentive vouchers. So you can use them to promote your business. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go with Colorado Essentials. Again, everybody, make sure you're on, on with me and let's get going. All right, and again, what happens is I'll read or there'll be a video and then usually there's a test afterwards, okay? So again, pay attention, listen. If you're just signing in, that's great. We'll, we'll wait for you for the test, okay? All right, so with this first chapter, you're on your way to becoming a Colorado concierge. This section will go over some basic travel facts about the state rules around legal cannabis consumption and resources you can share with travelers in your everyday encounters. Wow, that's kind of different to start out with, right? Uh, be recognized as a certified Colorado concierge. Check out the Colorado Concierge Recognition Program with ready-to-go tools, benefits for individuals, businesses, and organizations. P.S. Wondering, no worries, Lindsay. Again, we're just getting started. Um, here's the link to get started on the training. Um, and again, I just started reading. So just go in and register. Make sure you put Archer Travel as the company. All right, wondering how to pronounce concierge? Some people fans fancy it up as concierge or conseille, <laughs> concene. As a tribute to the words French roots, though it turns out even the French don't pronounce it that way. Americans use the soft G sound, concierge, I don't know. I pronounce it concierge. <laughs> All right. So as a quick note, as you go through this program, you'll notice a heart icon, okay, on many of the pages right here. This is an easy way for you to favorite items. All of your favorited items are stored in the favorite section of the app. Look for the heart on the top menu, allowing you to quickly, easily reference them. All right, so let's click here. All right, guys, so welcome, welcome, everybody. Also um, wanted to share a lot of people will start doing binders when they're doing these trainings or a folder online to keep some of the important stuff in there, okay? Um, like weddings, you know, so if you we do a training on a wedding and, and like when we did New Orleans, really cool weddings um, programs. So that would be a good one, okay? Um, this isn't coming up, so... I don't know if anybody else's is, but let's go here. Maybe it'll come up over here. Da, 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 da. Let's see what shows up. Okay, it's not showing up for some reason, but we'll maybe come back. So let's go to the next one. All right, travel facts, part one. Well, you already know that Colorado is a great big state. Luckily, with so much to see and do, it's very easy to navigate. That size means visitors sometimes need a little assistance in doing so, and you're in a perfect position. Oh, the pop-ups, yeah. Um, perfect, did anybody else's pop up? Did anybody else's show up? Let me know. Um, perfect position to provide them with directions, practical information for traveling around. Oh, it did show up. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'll try that. Here are some basic facts about what makes Colorado such a special place that you can share with your visitors. Colorado by the numbers. Colorado is the country's eighth largest, could be a test question, and is divided into eight travel regions. You'll learn more about each region in a future module. 
With more than 103,000 square miles to cover, it's helpful for visitors to know how far they can reasonably travel in a day. For example, seeing all four national parks in one day isn't realistic. Resources like cotrip.org and this drive distances chart can be a great tool to share with them. All right, we're actually going to Yellowstone in two weeks. We're gonna, we're driving to Nebraska. And so we're gonna be heading over to Yellowstone, Grand Tetons and Mount Rushmore. All right, so again, you can click on these, get great information, okay? And then drive distances here. So Rick, look at Estes Park, they said is pretty cool. I don't know if that's along the way. Things to do, trip ideas. This is a cool one too, Colorado drive distances. We going through Colorado? I don't know. All right, so again, trip ideas, events and festivals. So this is a good site to hold on to, okay? Um, the four national parks, all of them have great gateway towns to make a home base for travelers. Rocky Mountain has Estes Park and, oh, okay, never mind. I'm thinking. Okay, on the east side of Grand Lake on the west, Black Canyon of the Gunnison is a short drive from Montrose. Great sand dunes nestled up near Alamosa and Mesa, Mesa Verde is close to Cortez. You want, you want national monuments? We've got eight of those. So you have eight largest city, eight travel regions and eight monuments. The monuments are often less busy than the national parks and a great recommendation for visitors looking to experience the beauty of the state as well as some solitude in history. Browns Canyon near Buena Vista, Colorado near Grand Junction, Chimney Rock near Pagosa Springs, fluorescent fossil beds near Cripple Creek, dinosaur in the far northwest corner of the state, canyons of the ancient, Hubbin Weep and Yucca House near Cortez. And we're not done with the parks. There's 41 Colorado State Parks packed with opportunities. How cool is that? Um, for hiking, camping, rafting, fishing, hunting, wildlife, watching, horseback riding, snowshoeing, ice skating, mountain biking, and so much more. Found here is a full list of the parks where you can filter each one to the desired activity. All state parks, national parks, and national monuments have entry fees with day rates and seasonable, seasonal passes available. Again, you can click here, pull up, park finder, okay, so look at all that. You can go through and sort it out however you like, download a guide, okay, places to go, things to do, and see, okay. Let me see if I can pull this up again or not. Does pop up. <sighs> okay, I guess not. So do 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 do. All right, hold on. All right. Next. Do 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 do. Okay, so click here. What does this show? All right, so 10 fun facts. So let's go ahead and check that out. Sorry, guys, I, I multitask. <laughs> All right, so um, the world's largest flat top mountain is the Grand Mesa. Uh, Leadville, highest incorporated city in the United States at 10,430 feet elevation. Trail Ridge Road leaves Rockies on the east and soars to 12,183 feet as it crosses the continental divide to the western slope. One of the highest suspension bridges, the Royal Gorge Bridge, spans the Arkansas River at the height of 1,053 feet. Colorado has more craft breweries per capita than any other state. The world's largest natural hot springs pool is located in Glenwood Springs. Tallest sand dunes in America are in Great uh, Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve. 
A golf ball flies on average 10% farther in Colorado than in the other state because of the altitude. And then Colorado has the highest means um, altitude of all the states. And Grand Lake on the western side of Rocky Mountain National Park is the largest national lake in the state. All right, and then it shows all the additional stuff. Next. All right, first test question. All right, which of these is not one of Colorado's four national parks? Four corners. Okay, four corners. Anything else? That's right, you've got it. Although, oops, I'm trying to read that, but so four corners. You guys good on that? Please call them. Okay, very good. Next. So after all that, they turned in the um, claim with Geico. All right, part two. Think you're an expert on all things Colorado now? We've got a few more Colorado by the numbers. Facts to store away in your memory bank. When visitors ask you, what there is to see and do around here, you can be ready with plenty of ideas. Our highest peak is Mount Elbert near Leadville, which clocks in at 14,433 feet, one of our 58 14ers, more than any other state. See all of them here. Learn about important safety facts for climbing them here. Okay, so again, when you go to these, you guys can click on these, save these for future reference if you like, okay? All right, Coloradoans love to brag about the 300 days of sunshine, especially lovely feature of our winters. Learn more about our weather, including seasonal highs and lows across the state here. Home to 28 ski resorts um, and areas which range from low key family friendly ski hills to massive world class resort visitors never have to leave during their stay. No worries, Teresa, we're just getting started. We only had one question so far and the answer is four corners. Okay. And that to her. Sorry. I would respond back and say, you got notified she reported the claim, so you'll be dealing with the insurance from now on. Sorry guys, okay. All right, so the 28 ski resorts, world-class resort visitors may never have to leave during their stay. Find out more about each one here, okay? So all the different ski resorts right here. So again, lots and lots of information to share, okay? Get out there and um, you know, hit up the skiers, set up those vacations for Christmas. The parks aren't the only place for visitors to spread their recreational wings, have a whopping 15 national forests and two national grasslands. The forests are found on the more amount, mountainous western half of the state where seven mountain ranges vie for attention, and the two grasslands on the flatter eastern half. Pawnee National Grassland is the northeast and Comanche, Com Comanche, Comanche sorry, National Grassland in the Southeast. Learn about ways visitors can explore our public lands here, okay? And one of the best ways to see all these beautiful places are 26 scenic and historic byways, of course. These byways connect the dots in every part of the state running between historic sites and majestic scenery. From Red Rock Canyons to Alpine Splendor to Sunkissed Prairie. Learn more about each byway here. Again, click on that, share it, keep it for your your files, et cetera, okay? Okay, those seeking scenery and he history also can't miss on our 10 scenic historic trains, beautiful train rides, guys. Visitors can ride back in time on these railroads, some of which tra traverse still wild terrain that can't be easily experienced by any other form of transit. Learn more about the trains here, okay? Look how beautiful that is. I actually took Amtrak from, Amtrak from Vegas through to Omaha and we stopped over in Colorado. Fun, 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 right? So again, throw that package together, train rides, skiing, et cetera. 
All right, how many scenic and historic byways does Colorado have? 26, 39, 52, or 65? Oh, very cool. Okay, 26 looks like the answer. You got it. 26 between historic sites and acres of majestic scenery span from Red Rock Canyon to the peaks of the Rocky Mountains to the sun-kissed prairie. Um, hold on. You should have exchanged information with her. Okay. All right, next, part three. You're getting closer to be an expert now, okay? This is the last round of travel facts we've got to, for you to absor absorb. Colorado is a growing place and all the, that agriculture means folks find plenty of ways to infuse local flavors into their beer, wine, and spirits. That's why you'll find more than 330 craft breweries, 140 wineries, many of which are on the western side of the state, and 90 distilleries around the state, most of which offer free tours and tastings. There's bound to be at least one to explore in every town our guests visit. Learn more about colorado.com liquid arts. What does being at the headwaters of seven major rivers, the Colorado Rio Grande, the North Platte, South Platte, Arkansas, Cache La Pudo, Pudere, and Republican, 8,000 miles of waterway and 2,000 lakes mean for our visitors. It means summers packed with whitewater rafting, epic fishing, kayaking, stand-up paddleboarding for all skill levels, boating, jet skiing, just plain cool places for a refreshing dip on a hot day. Learn more about these activities here. Okay, so it's going to show you. Okay, right here. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Few places in North America offer such a bounty of wildlife opportunities. Meet, meet our 960 wildlife species from the mighty state mammal bighorn sheep to uh, birdie tra birding trails that crisscross the state to bald eagles, mountain goats. Oops, did I miss the wildlife opportunities? 960 wildlife species from mighty state mammal bighorn sheep to birding trails that crisscross state bald eagles, mountain goats, moose, pronghorn, and more. Every park and national forest, grassland, and monument has a way to meet our local critters from a safe distance naturally. Learn about where visitors can view wildlife here. Visitors seeking Colorado-style hospitality can't go wrong at our nearly 100 dude and guest ranches. Traveling cowpokes can go on real cattle drives, enjoy farm-to-table cuisine, soak up the beauty of the state in a rustic cabin. Find out more about Dude Ranch stays here, okay? Those would be kind of fun, huh? Again, take copies of these, print them out or something when you post your certificate and say, look at these amazing places I can send you to. Horseback riding, look how beautiful. Share some of these pictures, guys, on your social media. Other Colorado fun facts. The state nickname, Centennial State, so-called because it achieved statehood in 1876, 100 years after the country's founding. The highest paved road in North America is the road to Mount Evans off of I-70 from Idaho Springs. The road climbs up to 14,258 feet above sea level. The Dwight Eisenhower Memorial Tunnel between Clear Creek and Summit Counties is the highest auto tunnel in the world. Bored at an elevation um, of 11,000 feet under the Continental Divide, it is 8,960 feet long. There are canyons deeper and narrower than the Black Canyon of the Gunnison, but no other canyon in North America combines the gorgeous depth with its width. All righty, what's the Colorado state animal? Oh, nice, how pretty. I, that's one place I'd like to move is Colorado. The one on the top left. Yeah, bighorn sheep, right? Correct, found in the high terrain. So it's the bighorn sheep, top left. Thank you, Nicole, all right. All right, legal cannabis, all right. Whether you choose to use cannabis or choose not to, as Coloradans, we're all in this together. So let's help our visitors learn to navigate the rules 
um, and guidelines for safe, legal, and responsible cannabis use. In Colorado, adults 21 and older can buy and have up to one ounce of cannabis at a time. Dispensaries, which are licensed retail locations, are the only legal places to purchase cannabis. Uh, even though cannabis is legal in Colorado, it's illegal to take or mail it out of state. Carrying cannabis is also banned at all Colorado airports. When getting rid of cannabis products, use a secured container, place it in a safe place that's out of the reach from children like a dumpster. Never leave cannabis in a hotel room or rental cars because you could be charged additional fees or it could fall into the hands of a minor. Because of our Clean Air Act, it is illegal to use cannabis or any other kind of vaping device in any rental vehicle, ski resort, casino, state or national park, campground, or other public space, as well as any hotel or lodging property, restaurant, or music venue that does not have a licensed cannabis consumption setting, also referred to as cannabis cafes and social clubs. There are specialized bus and limo tours uh, where cannabis can be legally consumed, which is the best bet for visitors for now, as well as cigar tobacco bar and retail tobacco businesses and licensed cannabis consumption settings. As you can see, the rules and places visitors can consume cannabis is complicated and evolving frequently. The best way to ensure they get the most up-to-date information is to recommend they speak with the staff at local cannabis dispensaries who will always know the latest information. Additional responsibilitygrowsherecom is an excellent resource to share with visitors. All right, how old do you have to be to consume cannabis legally in Colorado? Oh, 21. 21, that is correct. They could have up to one ounce. All right, very good, guys. All right, travelers resources. You may often encounter visitors with questions you don't know how to answer. Great way to show them Colorado values, their businesses and cares about their experience. Here is to refer them to other helpful resources. So here are a few to keep under your hat for times when visitors are looking. So vacation inspiration, colorado.com, a comprehensive resource packed with trip ideas, articles, videos, tour companies, outfitters, much more. Additionally, there are 10 Colorado welcome centers around the state that can provide travel information brochures, Wi-Fi and coffee to help visitors get on their way. Far off places, the Colo Road Trips tool is a collection of itineraries designed help travelers find their way to some of the lesser known parts of the state. Road conditions, as you know, our weather can change quickly, sometimes impact road conditions. Colorado Department of Transportation, CO trip website and app always, sorry, has the latest on closures, construction, the condition of mountain passes and other alerts. All right, let me fix this. All right, hiking and biking trails. The Colorado Trail Explorer app or Cotrex is the best way for visitors and locals to discover 38,000 miles of trails with Google navigation to trailheads, featured routes, trail descriptions, difficulty ratings, and more. You're welcome. Legal cannabis information. This, the state's responsibility grows here. Site has details on how visitors can experience cannabis safely, legally. Additionally, you can recommend they check with local cannabis dispensaries for the latest regulations and places they can legally consume. All right, last question on this one, it looks like, as you read the chapter, California Tourism um, offers a lot of great resources. What would be the best resource to help people find a hiking trail? All right, Cortex, Cotrex, that is correct. Great job. All right. Do, 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 do. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the chapter. Once you've completed all training, you'll receive your certificate. Return to your training dish dashboard to continue. All right. So congratulations, we've completed this one. Now we're gonna go to Care for Colorado. Okay, everybody good? Ready to move on? Okay, let's go. 
You guys learning something new? <laughs> kind of interesting, right? You get to learn. I like looking at all the exciting places to visit. So, all right, Care for Colorado. In this chapter, you learn about the Colorado Tourism Office's Care for Colorado Principles. Developed in a partnership with the Leave No Trace Center for Outdoor Ethics, these seven principles demonstrate for visitors and locals that with a little preparation, a spirit of adventure, and a soft spot for nature and the past, we can all work together to keep Colorado's special places special for generations to come. Once you learn the principles, we hope you'll share them with visitors you meet, practice them yourself, and you will travel. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Casey. Well, again, you can add, help answer the questions then as you travel the state. All right. Da, da, da. So time for a video. Careful Colorado. It's the only one we got. Respect the place, leave no trace, you'll really help a lot. Here's how we do it. One. Now before you go and go, where fewer people go and keep yourself hydrated, disposables are overrated. Two. Stick to the trails, the Rocky Mountains don't have rails. A new path may seem fun, but it causes lots of erosion. Leave it as you found it The flowers and the trees We don't need to know who you dated In 1983 Careful Colorado It's the only one we got Respect the place Leave no trace You'll really help a lot Four Trash the trash do we really need to write a clever lyric about putting your trash in the trash can? And keep in mind you need to find the domestic critters leave behind. Fine. Be careful with fire, make sure they're out and won't grow higher. Even a, a little cigarette haze could cause a major forest blaze. Sick. Keep wildlife wild, they may be cuddly and cute, but don't give them food, I'm telling you do. Best not get them riled. Seven. Share trails and parks in every kind of weather. Be respectful of each other's space. We're all in this together. Careful, Colorado. It's the only one we got. Respect the place, leave no trace. And thank you, you really help a lot. <laughs> kind of fun, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was cute. All right. So know before you go, you can help visitors learn about and respect the spaces we all own, share, and sing about. Uh, here are some tips you can share with them to help us all care for Colorado. Stay back from the pack. Find your way to less visited and off-peak destinations. Look how beautiful. Um, to minimize downtime and maximize your connection with special places, the Colo Road Trips section of Colorado.com. Excellent resource for finding these locations. Bring along reusable water bottles or heart, hot drink tumblers, or buy a Colorado themed one here to limit waste and stay hydrated in our dry clim climate. Plus, you'll fit right in with all the Coloradans with water bottles clipped to their backpacks or belt loops. Be thoughtful about what you pack when you prepared for anything. So you're prepared for anything. Dressing is easily removable layers can ensure visitors can are always comfortable. Adding or removing them as temperatures changes. Our diversity of elevation means temperatures can shift quickly. Here are some basic visitors can bring that will bring will help them stay comfortable. Winter warm water resistant coat or parka. A hat, gloves, long underwear, snow pants, and water resistant boots. Spring and autumn, t shirts, rain jacket, fleece jacket, jeans, and shorts. Summer, light jacket, shorts, jeans, hiking pants, swimsuit, warm clothing for camping and mountain visits. And then year round, sunscreen, lip balm, sunglasses, and day pack. Tap the icon to see the color ready with this travel guide. 
Okay. Let's open, open, open. All right. So again, no before you go, trash the trash. So again, maybe save this, you know, for future reference, put it in the pack for your client when they go so they have the information. Okay. All right. Get out. Okay, next. What's a good way for visitors to ease congestion on our busy places? This one, find your way. Yeah, bottom one. Correct. Stay back from the pack. Correct. Very good, guys. All right, stick to the trails. With 39,000 marked trails, 13,000 designated campsites, there's no need to venture beyond. By sticking to these areas and camping at least 200 feet from lakes, rivers, and streams, visitors can help natural areas stay natural. Even though shortcuts can be tempting, please don't take them. A few extra strides on the path will protect plants and the homes of the true locals, our plants and animals. The Colorado Trails app or Cotrex is an excellent resource for finding trails for hiking and mountain biking in every nook and cranny of our state. For a, a packing guide, not sure what to bring, click here, it'll give you a guide on what to bring for packing. Da, 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 da. All right, dress in layers, okay, in winter, okay, so great little resource for you. What happens when hikers take shortcuts and deviate from the marked trails? Correct. Plants and wildlife are disturbed and erosion can occur. So stay on the trail, guys. Trash the trash, pick it up uh, to leave a place better than you found it. Carry litter, um, peels, pores, and even crumbs to the nearest waste recycle bin. Wash yourself, your dog or whatever else needs cleaning at least 200 feet from the waterways. Use biodegradable soap, a bubble bath is no treat for fish. You can pick up waste and stash bags at nearly any outdoor store, which helps keep the outdoors nice and tidy. Human waste is no exception. Yes, you've asked to even dispose of your own poop in most areas. Cat holes are another acceptable option for human waste disposal. Cat holes should be six to eight inches deep, located 200 feet, 70 adult paces from any water source or intimate drainage. Carry towels for digging, trowels, trowels for digging, um, and pack out toilet paper in plastic bags. Baby wipes are useful for reducing odor and improving cleanliness, cleanliness. Oh, like it said, locals hate when people ignore that. Okay, perfect. Great to know. Thank you. All right. So bury your poop, guys. <laughs> When we say pack it in, pack it out, what do we mean by that? Everything. Everything that was brought in, take it back out. Everything, we mean everything. Very good. All right. Leave it as you found it. Leave plants, rocks, historical items as you found them so other experience the joy of discovery. Any of our 715 different species of wildflowers will live forever in a photo. Snap away, but only with a camera. Colorado is beautiful all on its own. Building structures or campsites on public land isn't cool. Keep it pristine for everyone to enjoy. Treat all living things with respect. Carving or hacking plants and trees may kill or disfigure them, okay? Be kind. Why would we ask visitors not to make a crown of wildflowers? They're out of style. <laughs> we want others to be able to experience the joy. Flowers are not a living thing, therefore not deserving respect. There we go. We want to have them um, enjoy the discovery. Correct. Thank you. Very good, guys. 
All right, be careful with fire. Colorado's low humidity has its perks, but also can create dry, dangerous conditions. Keep campfires small and manageable to avoid sparking wildfires. When putting out a fire, water it until you can handle the embers. Never let a fire burn unattended. Use care when smoking in Colorado's dry climate. Always put cigarettes out completely and don't leave your butts behind. Always check for local fire restrictions. Visitor centers and ranger stations can help you ensure you're in compliance when the fire risk is high. What creates dangerous fire conditions in Colorado? Low humidity. Very good. It is a prime environment for fires. All right, how about the wildlife? Colorado is home to tens of thousands of furry, scaly, featured creatures. To keep them and you safe, don't approach them. It is not adorable to feed wild animals. You could alter natural behaviors, exposing them to predators or even um, euthanasia. Keep your furry buddies leashed when enjoying dog-friendly trails and pack out their waste all the way to the trash can. Why shouldn't visitors feed wildlife? They can alter their natural behaviors. Very good, correct. And expose them to predators. All right. Share our trails and parks. Again, look how beautiful. Chances are you're not out in nature to people watch. So try out the lesser known paths and sites. Silence your cell phone before stepping into nature and speak softly without using the speaker function. Be considerate when passing others on the trails and yield to the uphill hiker and biker. They need momentum. Listen to nature. Keep your voice and music soft so all can enjoy the peace of Colorado. Tap the icon for the scoop on how to act like a local and more insider Colorado knowledge. The message for Colorado travelers was developed in a partnership be with, between Leave No Trace Center for Outdoor Ethics and the Colorado Tourism Office. All right, so here you go. Learn the lingo, okay? So check this out. All can enjoy the peace. Yes, exactly. So check this out, learn the lingo, all the information here, become a local, okay? Fun stuff. All right, and what's the best part of thoughtfully sharing our park and trails? All can enjoy the peace of Colorado. Correct. Yay, all right guys. <laughs> We have now finished second chapter. Congratulations. Let's move on. How many chapters? So we have seven. Okay. All right. Let's do the travel regions. All right. To help visitors navigate our state, you can use this section to learn about the eight Colorado travel regions, especially your own. First, you'll watch the video, read about each region, and then answer a few questions. We took a research approach based approach to identifying the regions that include tourism stakeholders and analysis of social media data, a resident, resident survey, several workshops and other efforts to ensure we captured the spirit of each part of the state in a way that would encourage travelers to visit them. The following section will help you learn about each region, especially your own. Hopefully you'll be able to recommend them to visitors you meet based on their interests. First, you'll watch a video, read about the region, and then take the test. All right, so here's the video.
right. So Denver in the cities of the Rockies, nestled against the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, this region is the heart of urban Colorado, anchored by vibrant cities and towns, each with its own energy, landscape, proximity to outdoor adventure. It's worth a trip all on its own and can also be the splendid start to an end or end to a Colorado getaway. Several of the metropolitan areas, including Denver, Boulder, Fort Collins, Loveland, Greeley, Longmont, Castle Rock and Aurora are found in this region. So you have the Colorado travel regions. Okay, so we're starting here. Uh, Denver's historic Union Station, vibrant gathering place and a hub for downtown exploration. These cities have an energetic and outdoorsy lifestyle and are culturally rich as well with ma major museums, colleges and universities, music venues and nightlife. Trendy culinary experiences, locally owned boutiques major uh, shopping centers, craft breweries, bro pro sports, and easy to manage public transportation contribute to the region's fast paced way of life. And are some of the reasons it's often a hub for visitors traveling all around Colorado. You have farmers markets just off the pedestrian Pearl Street Mall, top way to taste local flavors in the foodie forward city. Wildlife so plentiful in the area around Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park, you'll see elk wandering downtown streets. How cool is that? I love that. Beyond the city, still plenty of room for charming active mountain towns packed with outdoor recreation, historic sites, scenic vistas, watchable wildlife, and walkable main streets. Filled with gallery streets, sweet shops, and the perfect spot for dinner. Look to Estes Park and its neighbor, Rocky Mountain National Park, Blackhawk, Evergreen Golden, and Lions for a few of these experiences. Also, more places to hike, bike, white water raft, rock, climb, camp, golf, horseback ride, fish, stand up paddleboard in this area than there are in many other states. Biking around Fort um, Collins, Old Town, great way to discover the city's main um, many craft breweries. Loveland's Benson Sculpture Garden um, is home to more than 150 pieces of artwork in a serene foothill setting. As a gateway to the rest of Colorado, Denver and the cities of the Rockies call to travelers looking to experience all the great outdoors they can find on a Ponderosa wooded trails and still come back to an urban setting and amenities. Uh, the perfect mix of bustling metropolitan lifestyle and an adventurous in innovative culture. Activities to recommend to visitors in this region. Again, this may be something you wanna take a picture of um, so you can share ways to experience. Explore Denver's Lodo um, neighborhood, an impressive collection of restaurants, shops, chic cocktail lounges, breweries, and people watching. Travel the skyscaping trail ridge road starting in Estes Park on the east side of the Rocky Mountains National Park. Rustle up some Western fun at the Greeley Stampede, an annual July festival of rodeos, big name country concerts, and other Wild West activities. Learn the basics of kayaking at the Golden Clearwater Whitewater Park, um, situated in the heart of the historic downtown. Fly fish the day away on the Cache La Poudre River outside Fort Collins, and then dip into historic Old Town for farm to table fare and craft brews. Browsy, eclectic um, uh, shops on Boulder's Pearl Street Mall, the historic open air gathering of shops and cafes, also home to contortionists, jugglers, and musicians. Hit the slopes at Arofo, Arofo sorry, Basin and Eldora ski areas both known as local mountains for the ease which will, um, with which it takes to get to them, as well as their delightful short lift lines. Feel like a high roller at the gaming tables in Blackhawk and Central City? Take in some of the area's gold rush era historic attractions. Bring an extra suitcase for a trip to the outlets of the Castle uh, Rock, where designer stores uh, packed with bargains compete with stunning foothill views. 
Take a spin around Evergreen Lake, which becomes a Ponderosa surrounded ice skating rink each winter. Make your way to Idaho Springs, home of the Mount Evans Scenic and Historic Byway to see mountain goats scramble around the alpine environment. See a show at the Aurora Fox Arts Center then head over to Stanley Marketplace, a collection of independently owned places to eat, drink, shop, and play. Test your core strength with a relaxing paddleboard turn around Longmont's Union Reservoir. Its calm waters mirror the peaks rising in the distance. And then stroll through Benson Sculpture Garden in Loveland, where more than 150 sculptures fill a park alongside Lake Loveland. Uh, read more things to do at the Denver City's regions. All right, so again, go ahead and click on these. Have lots of things to do for your clients. Is that the same as here? Let's see. All right, these are the, the eight cities or the town cities. Okay, perfect. All right, next. Pioneering Plains. The northeastern part of the state is marked by waves of plains, grassland, and shallow canyons, a pioneering spirit, and a hundred year old farms. Visitors looking um, to slow their pace will find it an unspoiled and friendly as the West can get in towns like Sterling, Fort Morgan, Dirt Burlington, Julesburg, and Lamone. Uh, travel regions. Okay, with the expansion of America into the West, explorers and settlers could hardly believe their eyes when looking upon the Great Plains as they traveled some of the same routes visitors encounter on the Pawnee Pioneer Trail Scenic Byway. After the Louisiana Purchase, pioneers flocked to Colorado by the thousands in covered wagons, finding the plains a good place to farm and settle down. Visitors can learn about those pioneers at the Overland Trail Museum. Today, farming in the region looks more like Yuma Irrigation Research Farm, uh, where you can learn um, about government tested methods of soil conservation or spot wind farms near Fleming. The white propellers towering over the rolling lands. The rodeo and brush is the state's oldest, held around July 4th every year with fireworks, a parade, art show, beer garden, and much more. Whirling around on a classic carousel truly evokes a magical feeling and the Kit Carson County Carousel in Burlington has kept crowds of all ages happy since the early 1900s. Wildlife fans should plan a trip around Mountain Plover Festival in Carville in late April or go bird watching in Limon's uh, wetlands area. Mule deer, coyote, pro pronghorns, antelope can be found near the twin 300 foot tall Pawnee Butte Buttes in Pawnee National Grassland. Hunters search for deer, quail, and turkeys near the town of Ray. All right, and then visitors do the Pony Express, Union Pass Pacific Railroad, Pioneer and American Indian exhibits inside the Depot Museum in Julesburg and the museum's building itself is a historic artifact. North Sterling State Park delights with nesting bald eagles, a water slide, um, water side hiking trail, bass and walleye fishing, and serene sunset picnics along the shore. Whew, sorry. Those looking for Wild West can attend the Brush Rodeo held every July or find it in the Burlington Old Town Museum's historic barn, depot, schoolhouse, and other pioneer era attractions. Nine activities, head to the peaceful Pawnee National Grassland near Grover and Raymer, where you can see some of the last short grass prairie in the country. Visit Fort Morgan Museum to learn about former resident and big band leader, Glenn Miller. Follow the South Platte River Trail scenic and historic byway. See the landscape similar to those seen by frontier travelers. Learn about the Pony Express history in Julesburg. Scope out the can can dancers, soda fountains, and horse drawn wagon rides during the summer at Burlington's Old Town Museum. See the living sculptures in Sterling, statues carved out of trees depicting a variety of whimsical subjects. Pitch a tent and plan to do some stargazing at two popular state parks North Sterling State Park and Jackson Lake State Park near Orchid. 
Saddle up for roping, barrel racing, and other true grit events at the Elizabeth Stampede Rodeo each June. Visit Lamone Wetlands to see a multitude of waterfowl lazily floating in the water as a re respite during migrations. And then walk along 4th Street in Tiny Hugo to browse some of the state's best antique shops. More things to do. Again, click there, print it out, save it for future reference, okay? Check out all the different scenery and stuff, cool old town stuff, historic information. All right, fun, fun, fun. Okay, next. Ba, 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 ba. Nothing there, next. All right, what's the Pioneering Plains region's tallest point? Do, 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 do. Pawnee, Pawnee Buttes, that's correct. Spot mule deer, coyote, and all that other stuff that it just kicked me out of. <laughs> all right, next. Canyons and plains. All right, the southeastern part of the state shaped by its rich heritage of Hispanic and Native American culture. It's not difficult to imagine Buffalo and Plains Indians roaming the vast, beautiful grassland, partly because much of the terrain looks like it did when the traders, trappers, and pioneers settled here in the mid 1800s. Once used as a trade route, visitors can retrace the Santa Fe Trail, which links towns like Trinidad, La Junta, and Lamar. All right. Um, Frontiersman Kit Carson, folk hero Wild Bill Hickok, and explorer Jubilon Pike also followed this path on their fortune seeking guests, leaving their mark on locations with important historic ties, such as Bent's Old Fort National Historic Site and Bogsville Historic Site. And though there's a tragic reminder of some of the darker sides of history, Camp Amache and the Sand Creek Massacre National Historic Site also present an opportunity to learn from the past. Stop by roadside stands near Rocky Ford each August and September for the area's famously sweet melons. Picket Wired Canyon near La Junta holds a collection of 1300 fossil dinosaur tracks. How cool is that? Uh, travel even further back in time to Picket Wire Canyon, where a guided auto tour reveals the largest dinosaur track site in North America and the other prehistoric, historical, and natural features of the canyon along the Purgatory River. To the northeast, Vogel Canyon offers four hiking trails and is the site of rock art left behind by American Indians who lived in the canyon. 300 to 800 years ago, both gems are found within the Comanche, Comanche National Grassland, a haven for nearly 400 bird species. Trinidad's delightful quirky um, art arcade rolls through historic downtown each September in a parade of artfully enhanced vehicles. Wow, look at that. Crazy, huh? What looks like remains from a Roman empire near um, Cokedale are actually remnants of what used to be Coke. Uh, Coke Coke ovens used for smeltering uh, coal from a nearby mine. Throughout the year, more types of birds can be seen in this region than any other in North America. Thousands of geese descend on the lakes near Lamar annually. And John Martin Reservoir State Park is a hotbed for wildlife. There are bald eagles, terns, and plover plovers to be viewed, and bass, walleye, and crappie to be caught. Nearly 3,000 farms in the area produce crops like wheat, honeys, peppers, and melons. Rocky Ford is particular, is famed for its cantaloupe and watermelon. Ten activities, all aboard for boating around John Martin Reservoir near Hasty, also a haven for birders. Soak in a sunset amid the Golden Prairie in Comanche National Grassland south of La Junta. Attend the High Plains Snow Goose Festival in Lamar held each February, then stop into the Big Timbers Museum to see its uh, World War II poster collection, American Indian Artifact Transportation Museum, and more. Travel along the Santa Fe Trail Scenic and Historic Byway, which follows the route pioneers took on their westward journey. Get a feeling for Trinidad's history at the Corazon de Trinidad National Historic District's Baca House and Bloom Manch Mansion. Plan to hit up Rocky Ford's roadside 
fruit stands in August and September states taste some of the sweetest melons. Grab the binoculars and head for the collection of four reservoirs near Eds, Eds, near Granda, Nyansha, Nyansapa, and Niksha. Sorry if I mispronounce those. And then step back in time at Bent Old Fort National Historic Site near La Junta for living history demonstrations that bring the reconstructed 1840s Adobe fur trading post to life. And then catch a movie at the Lamar Theater, a chrome and mirror art deco wonder built in the 1940s. And then again, more things to do here. Check it out, okay. National parks, different museums, the, the farmer's market, the bears, all kinds of things to do in Colorado. Roughly how many bird species can be found in the canyons and plains region? 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, we got 400. That is correct. That's falling prairie haven for nearly 400 bird species. Thank you, Michelle. Cool. All right, Mystic San Luis Valley. This region is spiritual, intriguing land offering a sense of peace amid Epic 100 mile views and sand dunes circled by soaring peaks. Uh, Southern Colorado visitors will find that the landscape has remained largely the same for hundreds of years. Hardy towns are spread across the windswept plains, including Alamosa, Del Norte, Walsenburg, and San Luis. Dating back to 1540, it's the oldest in the state. Colorado's travel regions, Colorado's oldest town, San Luis, is home to the Stations of the Cross, a string of statues climbing the Mesa, okay? The Rio Grande snakes across the valley, providing an opportunity for white raft, whitewater rafting, fly fishing on one of the longest stretches of the state's gold medal waters, camping, and stand-up paddle boarding. North America's tallest sand dunes are a dramatic backdrop against the Sangre de Cristo Mountains at San, Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, where you can sandboard or sled down the naturally occurring dunes in the spring and early summer. Don't miss as Mandano Creek mysteriously flows down from the mountains, creating a beach oasis perfect for building sandcastles and skimboarding. Not too far from the park, a short hike to Zabato Falls reveals a cool respite in the summer and a giant ice sculpture in the winter. What started as Tilapia Fish Farm in Moscow has grown into Colorado Gators Reptile Park, a sanctuary for alligators, snakes, lizards, and tortoises. Kind of cool, huh? And Alamosa's Rio Grande Scenic Railroad takes riders past historic places still virtually inaccessible any other way. So cool there. Eclectic curiosities are waiting to be discovered. A drive along Highway 17 leads to the UFO Watchtower near Hooper, a quirky roadside attraction with information on the valley's surprising number of unexplained sightings or check out the Colorado's Gator Reptile Park, home to a number of scaly creatures. An exciting way to soak in fantastic scenery and Old West and antiquity, sorry, aboard one of the two historic train rides in the San Luis Valley. Departing from Alamosa, the Rio Grande Scenic Railroad winds through the mountains over La, La Veta Pass, offering a look at remote wild terrain Another option is to board the Cumbres and Toltec Scenic Railroad in Antonito for a ride that climbs higher than 10,000 feet through Southern Colorado to Chama, New Mexico. Surrounded by sheer cliffs, downtown Creed displays colorful 1890 storefronts that invite visitors to shop, dine, and stay a while. And then Walsenburg's Lathrop uh, State Park offers everything from fishing to golf, plus excellent views of the nearby Spanish peaks. <laughs> yeah, I know, let's go there. All right, rooted in American Indian heritage, known as the birthplace of modern Colorado region, this region is also home to vibrant Hispanic and religious history. 
Uh, the unsoiled nature and spirit of San Luis Valley has been well maintained, making it an ideal place for travelers who seek rich culture, outdoor recreation, a taste of vivid history. Visit the Shrine of the Stations of the Cross in San Luis to see a series of bronze statues positioned along a path that winds up a mesa to an adobe chapel. Spot migratory birds at the Monte Vista National Wildlife Refuge, host to the annual Monte Vista Crane Festival each March. Museum, hop through the valley, starting at the Luther Bean Museum in Alamosa for cowboy art. The San Luis uh, Valley Historic Museum, also in Alamosa, for frontiersmen relics, and the Fort Garland Museum for artifacts from early pioneers. Catch a show at the Historic Creed Repertory Theater. Host classical new productions each summer. Hop on the Silver Thread Scenic and Historic Byway, connecting Creed, South Fork, and Lake City, and roaming through wonderfully isolated swaths of San Juan Mountains. Take in splendid views of the dramatic Spanish peaks from the lovely town of Cuchara. Browse co-op shops representing local artists in the crafty and Spanish peaks cradled town of La Veda. Spend some time on the highway of legend, scenic and historic byway, which starts just west of Walsenburg and winds through famous geological sites and small mining towns. Take a refreshing dip in the waters of Lathrop um, State Park, also in Walsenburg, and catch a round of golf right inside the park. Tackle more than 300 sport climbing routes um, at Penitente Canyon near Del Norte, then head into town for a pint of Three Barrel Brewing Company. Woo. More things to do. Again, click there. You'll see all kinds of exciting things to do. The dunes, the train ride and all the animals. Okay, beautiful little town. Next. A river and a scenic railroad share the same name in San Luis Valley, which is, is it La Veta? The Rio, the Rio, Rio Grande. Thank you. Rio Grande and Rio Grande Scenic Railroad. Very good, thank you very much. All right, Pikes Peaks Wonders. With a blend of urban comforts and natural landmarks, visitors to this region have the option to sit back and relax or kick up some adventure. The Pikes Peak Wonders region has no shortage of striking natural features, including its namesake Pikes Peak, the Royal Gorge and the sweeping Sunkissed Prairie. Um, Manito, Manito, um, Manitou, is that how Manitou Springs has been the quintessential tourist town since the 1870s when visitors discovered the healing waters um, the Utah Indians had been drinking for years. Visitors will discover critically acclaimed restaurants, world-class arts and culture offerings, luxury accommodations in Pueblo and Colorado Springs, the region's two largest metropolitan areas. They'll soak away worries at hot springs in Nathra, uh, Buena Vista, or Salida, Salida, or take a deep dive into the state's mineral-rich history by roaming form former mining hubs like Victor and Cripple Creek. For more quiet pursuits, they'll spot the Milky Way in some of Colorado's darkest skies in West Cliff and Silver Cliff, and peruse one of our kind, one of a kind boutiques and antique shops in Colorado City, Florence. Manitou, Manitou, is it Manitou, Manitou Springs, Woodland Park, and more. Pueblo's historic Arkansas River Walk, ooh, look how pretty that is, is a one mile channel through the city's art and history scene. 1200 foot deep Royal Gorge in Canyon City, 10 miles long, carved over millions of years by the Arkansas River. All right, there are seemingly endless ways to check off the area's bucket list wonders. Cruise past a famous collection of 14ers, uh, peaks 14,000 feet tall or higher on the collegiate um, peak scenic byway, stroll across one of the world's highest suspension bridges in Canyon City or battle rapids on the Arkansas River through Browns Canyon National Monument. 
The Arkansas River has trips for raptors of all late, late levels from mild to wild, as well as gold medal fishing while the Arkansas River headways area and the Pike and San Isabel National Forest team with stellar hiking and biking trails. Sal Salida, which means exit in Spanish, is actually an entrance to some of Colorado's highest country. It's surrounded by a dozen of the state's 58 40 years. The Arkansas River near Buena Vista, one of the most rafted stretches of the river in the world, popular with rafters of all experience levels. Winter brings plenty of other delights, including skiing and boarding on Monarch Mountain and snowmobiling, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, and ice fishing. After a day of hitting the trails or off-roading to a ghost town, travelers can raise a glass at a local craft brewery, winery, and distillery and satisfy their appetites with gourmet cuisine. All right, other activities. Tour the U.S. Uh, Air Force Academy, U.S. Olympic Training Center, U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum, and Hall of Fame of Colorado Springs. Hit the vast network of mountain biking trails that surround Buena Vista and the Collegiate uh, Peaks area. Go way, way back in time at the Dinosaur Research Center in Woodland Park, particular favorite of families. Go for a boat ride or stroll along Pueblo's historic Arkansas River Walk, then tour the Rosemount Museum or Steelworks Museum of Industry and Culture. Take in stunning Pikes Peak views from the trails at Mueller State Park in Divide. Get your thrills at the Royal Gorge in Canyon City from zip lines to sky swings, rafting, and gondola, gondola rides. Pop around the shops, galleries, and patio dining restaurants in Old Colorado City. Take the calf burning trek up the oh so steep Manitou incline and then grab dinner in historic Manitou Springs. Name one of the 10 coolest small towns in the country by budget travel. Feed the resident donkey herd in Cripple Creek. Then take in this show at the historic and beautifully restored Butte Opera House. Sample a taste of the simple life at 11 Mile State Park in Lake George. Um, also a popular spot for trophy fishing and trout, kokanee, and pike. Work on your jousting technique at the Colorado River Renaissance Festival in Lake Spur each summer. Maybe woo a minstrel um, or maiden while you're at it. Tear yourself away from the Arkansas Riverside activities like kayaking and tubing in Salida to explore one of the state's first certified Colorado creative districts. Again, more things to do there. What city is one of the world's highest suspension bridges found in? Canyon City. Canyon City, very good. The Royal Gorge, 12,000 feet. Wait, it goes so fast, I can't read it. All right, Canyon City, very good. All right, the playground for the country's most famous year-round mountain resort communities. This region is ground zero, full of best-in-class comfort in welcoming mountain towns. Many of Colorado's most popular ski towns include Aspen, Beaver Creek, Breckenridge, Copper Mountain, Keystone, Snowmass, and Vail are found in this region, as well as towns packed with family attractions like Glenwood Springs, Frisco, and Georgetown. These towns provide outdoor excitement as well as world-class dining and culture. Uh, while the um, Maroon Bells near Aspen and Snowmass are touted as the most photo photographed place in Colorado, the pictures simply don't do the peaks justice. Look how beautiful. In the winter, travelers can ski to backcountry huts or snowmobile the day away. Then there's post-activity drinks and snacks in adorable mountain towns with art museums, five-star diners, spas, shopping areas, and bonfires. The Georgetown Loop Railroad connects two mining towns only two miles apart from a steep, narrow canyon with tracks that corkscrew up more than 600 feet in elevation on four bridges. Glenwood Hot Springs Resort boasts the world's largest hot spring pool. Look at that. How cool is that? As well as a full service spa and tons of family attract amenities. Okay. All right, during this summer, they can speed around switchbacks on a mountain bike or zip line across terrain that provides breathtaking views of the 
some of America's tallest mountains. Look, I wanna go there. I wanna go there, dear. Glenwood Hot Springs Resort on the way back. All right, um, provides breathtaking views of the tallest mountains. When all of that snow melts, there's class four and five rapids for the day of splashing around in the white water raft. At night, opportunities to see a show, take in live music at one of the many festivals in the region. Don't forget about the fall brings with um, it some of the most majestic leaf changing sites in the world. Um, Leadville's Mount Massive Golf Course, highest altitude course in North America and golfers balls fly farther in its thin air. Vail sets a standard for ski resorts in North America with its famed seven back bowls, 193 trails, staggering 5,289 skiable acres. It's the nation's largest ski area. All right, so take a ride on the Georgetown Loop Narrow Gouge uh, Railway for mining history and scenic views. Hike or ride the Rio Grande Trail, which starts right in downtown Aspen. Cruise Breckenridge's historic district, which is packed with local shops and restaurants. Check out Carbondale's Powers Art Center to see works by Jasper Johns. See a summer concert at the Lakeside Amphitheater in Dillon. Hop on the Blue River Trail for a time before loading on a swag at the outlets of um, at Silverthorne. Pedal boat, fish, or stand up paddleboard around Nottingham Lake in Avon. Get dirty on Eagle's BMX pump trap. Tour the South Park City Museum's historic cabin, saloons, general store, and more in fair play. Spend the day flying the lift served snow tubing hill in Frisco. Bring the kids to the Ice Age Discovery Center in Snowmass to see a massive uh, mastodon skull. Fish the gold metal waters of the frying pan and roaring fork rivers near Basalt. Soak in the variety of hot springs found in Glenwood Springs and stroll around the Colorado River through Glenwood Canyon. Skate across Keystone's massive ice rink or hit up the Nordic Center on cross country skis or snowshoes. Drive the top of the Rockies um, and historic byways starting in Leadville and heading for the sky. Embark on a waterfall hike in Vail, then stroll the Betty Ford Alpine Gardens for even more natural delight. And then ride the sky um, ski lifts in the summer to access, access hiking and biking trails on Copper Mountain. Select which famous ski towns are found in Rocky um, Playground. All of them? Yep. All of the above. That is correct. Lots and lots to do. All right. Mountains and mes mesas. In this region, visitors will find Victorian era um, mining towns, colorful farm communities, mesmerizing geography, and ancient cultures. The jagged San Juan Mountains are a haven for outdoor recreation. Surrounding towns like Telluride, Durango, and Montrose. And two of the most important mesas in US are found here. The Grand Mesa, the largest flat top mountain in the world, and Mesa Verde National Park the first national park in the U.S. dedicated to preserving the works of man. Before moving on, be sure to tap the video icon on the right to learn more about the hidden gems of Colorado's mountains and mesas. Um, so right here, come to life with Juliana. This is the hidden gems of Colorado's mountains and mesas. Hey guys, Juliana Brosti here, Traveling Jewels. We're going beyond Mesa Verde and Durango to explore Colorado's southwest corner. Jump in and get your hands dirty. Hey guys. Here at Crow Canyon Archaeological Center. You'll be working alongside archaeologists in the field with us. We'll be doing excavation, getting in here and feeling the dirt. Ooh, I got something. Enroll in a class at the Minka School of the West and learn from the masters of multiple mediums. Welcome to my studio. So it's cool to see what you can create with some basic tools and a lot of skill. Here in the heart of Cortez, I hear you've got to eat at the Farm Bistro. This farm-to-table restaurant is known for its fresh approach and big taste. What we like best about the local connection, it's the flavor. Doesn't get better than that. There's more to explore right here in Colorado. Come see for yourself. All right. 
do do do. Oops, sorry. All right, with um, two spectacular national parks, a handful of scenic byways, hot springs, and more lakes and rivers than any other part of the state, this rugged region truly suits adventures longing to hike 14,000 foot peaks, wrap down thrilling white water ski and snowboard on fluffy powder, uh, rappel through waterfalls, camp in the wilderness, and so much more. Um, you have the group. Gravity defined boulders, tunnels carved of stone and red rock canyons within a canyon defined Colorado National Monument between Fruta and Grand Junction. Crest, Butte, Crested Butte, one of the world state's mountain biking capitals, home to countless trails, state um, oldest mountain bike festival, Bike Week. Durango and Silverton narrow gauge um, gouge railroad runs 200 feet above the Animas River with views of majestic peaks as it passes through remote canyons and wilderness. And then Telluride, known for its authentic mountain character, unpretentious attitude, and celebration of four season adventure in the Rocky Mountain High Country. Though it might take a bit more effort to get to the mountains and mesas from Denver, visitors are rewarded by adventure around every corner in every season and delicious farm to table options. Considered the Grand Canyon of Colorado, Black Canyon of the Gun Gun Gunnison National Park near Montrose leaves visitors speechless thanks to its dramatic landscapes, sheer walls, and startling depths. Near Grand Junction, Colorado National um, Monument is a stunning collection of desert rock formations. A short drive from Cortez, visitors will find well-preserved archaeological ruins at Mesa Verde National Park, Canyons of the Ancients National Monument, and Hub and Weep National Monument. The area southwest of Cortez, also where you'll find the Four Corners National Monument, where the borders of Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Arizona meet. Chimney Rock National Monument, west of Pagosa Springs, was once home to hundreds of early American Indians. The archaeological finds of 200 homes, other structures have been discovered here. Warm days and nights also make this region an ag agricultural gem with towns such as Palisade, Delta, Paonia, um, and Olaf, um, supplying the state with wine, grapes, and produce like juicy peaches, sweet corn, and tart cherries. This region is also home to some of the best spots to soothe tired muscles or just soak up the natural beauty in hot springs pools found around Pagosa Springs, Durango, Arai, and Ridgeway. Some of the state's deepest snow is found in this region, including at Telluride Purg Purgatory Ski Resort at Durango, Crested Butte, Wolf Creek Ski Area near Pagosa Springs and Silverton. Many smaller family-friendly ski areas in this region include Powderhorn near Grand Junction, this Lake City, Ski Hill and Hesperus Ski Area in Durango. Two casino resorts um, and several historic attractions can be found near the town of Ignacio and Tarek, run by the Southern Ute Tribe and the Ute Mountain Tribe respectively. Most towns in this region are known for epic mountain biking, but Fruta and Crested Butte are especially known for their easily accessed network of trails. Several rivers in this region lure whitewater lovers to their banks each summer, including the Animus near Durango, the Taylor near Gunnison, and Crested Butte. The Gunnison, the San Juan near uh, Pagosa Springs, the San Miguel near Telluride, and the Dolores near Cortez, and the Uncompagara near Ridgeway. <laughs> when the recreation has had has been had, there are six certified Colorado creative districts in this region, including North Fork Valley, Paonia, Hotchkiss, and Crawford, Ridgeway, Telluride, Mancos, Crested Butte, and Grand Junction. One of the best ways to take in all the spectacular scenic sites is to drive one of the scenic and historic byways that crisscross the region, Trail of the Ancient San Juan Skyway. Tracks across borders, Alpine Loop, Silver Thread, West Elk Loop, Uniweep, Tabacoach, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, right? yeah, Grand Mesa and Mesa and Dinosaur Diamond. And the Grand Mesa, 800 square miles and the largest flat top, flat top mountain in the world can be explored in the area across around Grand Junction, Delta, Paonia, Cedar Ridge, and Hotchkiss. 
the mesas home to 300 lakes and reservoirs, which is why fishers, boaters, and campers find so many places to explore here. And then visitors who love a walkable, colorful, historic downtown filled with shops and restaurants, plenty to choose from here in Telluride, Durango, Crested Butte, Silverton, Arai, Ridgeway, and Lake City. Make sure you're reviewing all links and videos on the page before the training will allow you to advance to the next screen. Okay. So I did, we did do that, right? I think so. Okay, more things to do here. Bah, bah. All right, thank you again. Um, I think we're gonna probably end after this one because this is a long one and then maybe we'll, re we'll finish it up on Sunday. So let me know guys, um, but yeah, let's, let's at least finish this one. Um, so again, thank you guys for hanging in there. This is a long one. Which photo illustrates something you wouldn't see in the mountains and mesas region? The flowers. Flowers, that's right. Very good, thank you, Earl. All right, almost done. The Great West, amid rolling ranch land, green hills, marble mountains, and dramatic canyons, visitors will discover Wild West adventure here. Still dotted with hillside homesteads and close-knit ranching communities. Um, authenticity flows from every corner, inviting visitors to hang their hats beside those of local cowboys, whether at a dude ranch or a neighborhood cafe. Here's another video we're going to watch, okay? Welcome to Colorado. I feel like I'm in a painting. I'm exploring colorful Colorado and we're headed to the Flat Tops Wilderness and Meeker and Rangeley. This is Colorado's Great West. Who doesn't love the wilderness? Hey guys, Juliana Brosti here, Traveling Jewels. Let's hop in the car and have some fun. All right, I'm all set. I've got my maps. I've got some wonderful recommendations. I hit the road on Colorado's Flat Tops Trail Scenic Byway. Certainly a road less traveled. I take a peek at Trapper's Lake. You can get a sense of what people lived like back then. I would stay here. This used to be a water tower. People today use it as a secret recording space because of its unique sound. Hello. Who knows what else is hiding here in Colorado? I guess you'll have to come see for yourself. I guess so, right? We're going to be actually, we're going up through Montana and Wyoming on the way to Nebraska. But then when we come back home in three months, we'll come through Colorado. So I'll check some of you agents out. I'll let you know when we're coming through. All right, how about rock climbing visitors to the rifle area will find incomparable beauty and challenging routes, as well as some of the world's friendliest fellow climbers. Steamboat Resort, known for its trademark champagne powder, so light and fluffy, you won't mind a tumble or two during the day on the slopes. Just want to see. Okay, it just pops up there. Okay. And then the White River Route and Arapaho National Forest, Flat Tops Wilderness Area, other public lands surrounding Steamboat Springs, Walden and Meeker beckon hikers, campers, rock climbers, and horseback riders in the warm weather months and snowmobilers um, and cross country skiers when the snow falls. Meanwhile, fly fishers and kayakers and rafters flock to the Colorado and Blue Rivers near Kremling, Kremling and the Yampa River near Maybell and Craig. Sapphire Blue Mountain Lakes cater to boaters, anglers and those seeking relaxation on the shore in Granby and Grand Lake also known as the Western entrance to the Rocky Mountain National Park. All right, the Museum of Northwest Colorado in Craig is home to one of the country's largest collections of gunfighter and cowboy memorabilia. At Dinosaur National Monument, um, the state's far Northwest corner finds 23 colorful rocky layers, as well as spectacular river rafting on the dinosaur and green rivers. Some of Colorado's most famous wild resi residents also reside in the area's dense forests and greenery draped mountainsides, making the region an excellent destination for spotting moose, bighorn sheep, peregrine falcons, golden eagles, and elk. Visitors can also follow in the footsteps of prehistoric creatures at Dinosaur National Monument near the aptly named town of Dinosaur in the state's far northwest corner. 
see your ball fly farther in the high altitude at one of the four golf courses in and around the town of Granby. Get out of the water in Steamboat Lake and Pearl State Park, just north of Clark, and settle in for some waterside camping. Plan a trip around the many summer festivals in Meeker, including Meeker Palapalooza, Arts and Music, Range Call, White River OHV Rendezvous, and the Meeker Classic Sheepdog Championship Trials. Snoop for scenes of moose. Snoop for scenes of moose lumbering through the trees in State Forest State Park near Walden. Glide down the groomed slopes of Fraser Tubing Hill, then head back up on the lift to do it over and over again. Get ready to fill your camera's memory card with scenic views of Colorado's largest natural lake, Grand Lake. Bundle up for some of the state's best ice fishing in Kremlin, especially at the Wolford Mountain Recreation Area. Visit the Tank Center for Sonic Arts in Rangeley, a sonic wonder, a seven-story steel water tank with a deep reverb longer and rich than the Taj Mahal, a delightful place for concerts. Hit the world-class ski slopes at Steamboat Springs and Winter Park, both of which turn into adventure parks in the summertime. Soak the day away in 23 different hot spring pools in the town of Hot Sulphur Springs, Need a break? Visit the town's Pioneer Village Museum. Peek in at the wonders inside the Museum of Northwest Colorado in Prague, home to one of the country's largest collections of cowboys and gunfighter memorabilia. And then cool off in the mist emanating from the Cascades and Limestone Caves found in Rifle Falls State Park. Settle up for Dude Ranch Day. The region is home to several, ranging from rustic working ranges to luxurious retreats. Marvel at the Native American rock art at the Canyon Pintado National Historic District near Rangeley. Travel around the Browns National uh, Wildlife Refuge in the far northwest corner of the state for the chance to see 68 species of mammals, 15 species of reptiles and amphibians and more than 220 species of birds. Take a tour to see the wild horses of the sand wash basin north of the tiny town of May Mabel. And then ride your snowmobile right into town up to your favorite restaurant at Grand Lake, one of the few places this is legal um, and possibly with snow left on the streets. Again, read more about what you can see and do. Perfect, perfect, all the beautiful sights. Beautiful. Like I said, the only place I'd probably want to uh, live. All right. Last question. What's the largest natural lake in the state? Grand Lake. Grand Lake. That is right. Rocky Mountain National Park. Perfect. Congratulations. You've completed the third chapter. Yes. And we're only 35% of the way done. Wow. You know, it says 18 minutes. I don't think that's right, okay? But anyway, um, so we'll finish this on Sunday if you guys are okay with that. Do you wanna do one more or do you wanna go ahead and finish this on Sunday? It's up to you guys. We can do one more, or we can do all four on Sunday. Again, I'm recording them. So um, what is Sunday? Sunday's the 24th. Finish on Sunday. Finish on Sunday, yeah, okay. So 9 a.m. on Sunday, again, guys, um, I do record it if you can't make it, but if we finish it all, you get your certificate. I don't know what else we're going to get, but um, but again, you know, get in here and let's do it. Um, hopefully you guys can join me on Sunday. All right. So again, thank you guys for joining me. Um, also, we're doing Uganda on Friday. We're doing Brazil, yes, Pacific time. We're doing Brazil on Saturday. I'm going, same link, correct? Um, Sunday, 9 a.m. Saturdays and Sundays are 9 a.m. Pacific time. I'm going to do a new flyer that I will add to that and I will add Uganda on there also. So watch for that. I will be posting that tonight. Um, so again, um, let's look and see. I just want to see if some of these um, have, you know, what else you get. 
So partners, visitors, okay, type regions. Sometimes you can go into it and it'll tell you what, you know, what we get for it. Um, concierge benefits. Because sometimes um, uh, the, the recording, um, yeah, the recordings are actually usually posted the same day or the next day or something um, on my YouTube channel. So again, as soon as I get done, I will save it and post it. It'll be right here on my YouTube channel. And you guys can catch it. And uh, like I said, we'll finish it on Sunday. But make sure you guys finish these because a lot of times you get invited, like I said, to different events, um, sometimes familiarization trips. Um, you know, you get little packages in the mail and stuff. So um, just like some of these, like this one over here, the Margaritaville at sea, guys, um, definitely this one was a great one. Um, and then you can do a seminar at sea. You get to go on the cruise ship for two nights. So definitely, and then Princess Cruise Line, um, if you were with me last week, I think it was, I was able to book my Hawaii free cruise, a 15 day cruise from LA to Hawaii for $225 a person. So definitely these are great to complete. You never know what you're gonna get. Start thinking of things for um, for next month also, guys. Like I said, right now, I only have like Fiji, North Carolina. Um, do you guys have any suggestions on any other ones that you want to see? Um, again, here's the total list of all the ones we have completed. Um, some of them we may need to do updates on, like Hawaii. Hawaii probably has an updated one. Um, we just did an update on... Um, Make sure you guys get in and do um, Jamaica. Jamaica is definitely a great one. Uh, Utah, let's see. Did we do Utah? S-T-U. Nope, I'll add Utah to my list. Thank you. Lots of things in Utah. Australia, actually, I think we just finished Australia. Um, right here, we've got four parts of Australia. So yeah, we just finished that one. Um, that one was a good one. Uh, yeah, I'll show this list again. Okay, Florida, Florida, there's a few in there for Florida. But let me look and see. Costa Rica, did we do Costa Rica? I know I went there and I was going to do it. Yeah, here's a Costa Rica, but I'll look to see if there's a different one. All right, Florida, I know we have a few different Florida, I thought. Florida Key West, Florida Paradise Coast. Uh, Greater Miami. So we've done a few for Florida already. Um, so yeah, just keep me in, keep in mind. Let me know of any other ones you guys want to see, or if you've seen some that, you know, Disney. We just had to do an update on Disney. I think I have another update that I need to do. But Jamaica is really good. All right, Illinois. Okay, pull that one up. All right. So um, Arizona. Let's see. Yep, haven't done Arizona either. So good ones, guys, because again, Tuesdays I kind of hold up for um, in Illinois, um, Bahamas. Bahamas, we've got one here, but I'll check for some other ones. Okay, all right. So um, Tuesdays, uh, yes, you can do your own, Jeffrey. That's why I said, like up here, these are all the different training programs. So you can click here, go into the Travel Academy and you register with them. You can go through here um, and look at all the courses. Um, actually, um, I'm Beach Bosses, Team Infinity is, is Amy. And yes, you're within the Beach Bosses group, so yes. I'm part of Team Infinity, but actually I'm Beach Bosses. But right here, you can go into here and you can do any of these trainings. Like this is the, the Costa Rica one I think we did. Okay, Belize, Florida, Naples, um, Guadalupe, uh, Hotel Escaret. We've done that. We did Japan, the Hawaiian Islands. We didn't do this one. What's that? Going Cuckoo, Southwest Germany Specialist Training. That's a new one. I'll add that for next month. Going cuckoo. <laughs> All right. 
no worries. Do you guys want me to kind of explain how it works? Um, you know, you have evolution, which is the marketing side, okay? The daily commissions, um, the team building, and then you have Archer Travel, which is the total travel commission. And then within the teams, um, as you grow, you create your own team. So like I'm part of Rising Tide, which is Charles and Nikki Lee. Within Rising Tide, then, you know, you have all these different teams, okay? Mine is Beach Bosses. As I start growing, you create your own team. I brought Amy Cabrera on. She created Infinity. I brought Justin um, Whitehair in, okay? His is Heroes. Maddie Dees. Um, Ryan um, is Relentless Worldwide. So they create their own team, but we're all part of like Rising Tide. Now, you guys may be outside of there and with like James Brown or with, uh, you know, um, you know, Courtney or Emily or, or um, uh, Patrice, okay, um, and then they have their own teams, okay, but we're all part of evolution, okay, so just remember that and, and again, this is open to everybody, okay, our, our training, certificate training, our incentive vouchers, so Join me for that training on Thursday at 5 p.m. But again, um, go into these different programs that we have. And as I said, um, some of them, like I said, we have done. Jordan is amazing um, for those. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? The, the religious tours. What is it called? Holy Land. Holy Land tours. Um, this. Huh? Pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. So um, yeah, they're, they're exciting. It's great information. Yeah, 5 p.m. Pacific time is voucher and accountability training on Thursday. So watch the training um, calendar. But Jordan is an amazing one um, to share with your friends and family, okay? Panama, Palladium, you earn money towards your own trips there. Again, these are ones that we have done that are right up here. Um, here's another one, Travel Agent University. So you can go into this site, sign up for it, register, you log in, and then once you log in, then you have all these places you can hit, okay? Bahamas, right there. You know, I don't know if we did that one. Antigua, Barbudo, destination weddings. So no worries, Angela. So I'm glad I could help. Um, so yeah, again, you guys can do these. A lot of them are already recorded. So like princess is a hard one. Okay. Princess, I think that we took nine times to complete princess. And when we did the test guys right here, my questions were different than yours. So that's kind of why it's fun to do them together because what we did was we finished the test and then we said, okay, Jeffrey, what's your questions that didn't get answered? Okay, Jessica, what's your questions? And we made sure that everybody passed, okay? Yeah, Veldi, very good. That's what I recommend, guys. Get in here and pre-register for all these. That way, when we go to do like California, we still have to finish that. You're already pre-registered, okay? Um, so again, you go in here, you log in. This one, we still have to finish. You go to training. We're almost done. But when you finish this California one, um, you're going to get a package in the mail. Okay. So as you see, we still have a few more to finish. So I'll probably do that on the 31st because I want to get these done for this month. Okay. All right. So again, take advantage, go into these. Um, sign up for all these different trainings. This is another one, OTT, um, Cape Town, Cook Island, Japan, Kenya. We just finished Kenya. That was a long one too. Um, you're welcome, guys. So Kenya, um, I think that one was like a four course one. Let's see, Kenya, E-F-G-H-I-J-K, right here. Yep, four parter, long one. You know, when I got into it, I'm like, oh, Kenya, okay, let's do it. And it's one little training, right? Oh, one training, okay, let's do it. But what happened was after you finished, then you go in to be a specialist and then you have all these other trainings. That's why I can't really compare when, when I put down a training, I'm like, okay, is this gonna take one day or is it gonna take five days? 
So right here, as you see, there was a whole lot of different ones to complete, okay? But it was very interesting. I wanna go and do that safari, sleep under the, the stars. Um, the beginning at, about Disney. Okay, Disney, what I wanted to just show you is the reason I tell you guys to get in and complete these trainings. So Disney, you can book Disney right now, okay? But if you complete the training, guys, you get free tickets every year, okay? So yeah, you can go in and start booking Disney today. But if you go here to the College of Disney Knowledge and complete that training, again, I have it recorded. Again, as I said, there was 45 people on. We still missed four, okay? Yeah, it's a difficult one. Um, Adventures is amazing. But once you finish it, you go up here to benefits, okay, available benefits, you get to go on cruise inspections, you get 35 to 50% off the cruises, the hotels, you get free tickets right here for Disneyland and Disney World. As you see, I use my Disneyland. So each year, um, yeah, see, um, Disney's very particular. That's why I was saying also when you're posting about Disney, Pay attention. You got to watch their copyright and stuff. They're very particular on that. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, they're very, very strict. And we got to be very careful with them because they can take away our access. Um, so, whatever you do, follow the instructions. Okay. All right. Um, again, guys, I went to Orlando and I got to go on a Disney ship tour okay um you can do a tour of the ships while it's in port you get discounts at all the hotels the cruise lines etc okay but you have to complete the trainings okay so same thing you know with all the different ones so lots of great perks guys and if you go to my youtube channel there's actually a training on all the perks that we get or a lot of the perks that we get um let me see if I can find it. Right here, perks for agents, okay? This is a great one. It'll tell you about the Marriott and stuff. Thank you, Perla, I appreciate that. Um, travel questions and perks are our opportunity. So guys, the main thing is stay plugged in. Let's have fun. Let's learn together. And, um, you know, let me know what trainings you guys want to have for next month. Also, let me know what you guys need help with, too. You know, um, we're always looking to add new trainings and stuff. So whatever you need help with, let us know. But um, definitely, you know, have fun. Do these trainings. Get your certificates. Post them. Profit agility is a great one. Special needs at sea right here. Um, yeah, there's an autism one too. I'll look, I'll do that one too. Thank you. I was going to look into that. All right. Cause we did the, the, um, the special needs at sea guys, that's a great niche to get into. Okay. Yes. Right here. Um, Velvi right here, the, uh, Margaritaville at sea. We just did that one right here. So just watch that. And then you can, um, get in and, um, they actually have, look, let me show you guys. Um, they actually have their, is the webinar tomorrow? Oh, good, thank you. Okay, so what time is it? Let's look. So it's actually Bahama Paradise. So let's see what time it is. I'm already registered. All right, so experience, I think it is. So live webinar, July 28th. Oh, it's next. Thursday. Where's the one you're talking about, um, Velvi? This this one's showing July 28th. Noon webinar. Okay, that's Eastern time. So I have it on there. I've already scheduled myself for this one. Oh, you got an email on it? Okay, perfect. So I'll check. Maybe they're having one tomorrow. Um, let me check. So these are great ones. Like I said, um, Margaritaville. Okay, Margarita. Okay, 
Um, besides having the webinars, look down here. These are the seminar at sea. Like I told you, you could click here to register. And then you can go on these for two nights. You can bring a guest. Um, you get to go. Um, so like, let's say August. Okay. If you want to do August one. So you click on that and then you go in. I think you can register here, but um, I went on it last year. So here you get to go on the cruise. You have a welcome reception, cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. The next day you have breakfast, you have a little meeting, and then you go over to the Bahamas to these two resorts. Again, while you're doing that, you're taking pictures, social media. Then you have the rest of the night to yourself, and then you get off the next day, okay? So this is the um, Bahamas um, Paradise Margaritaville um, training that we did. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's over here. I think she highlighted it. Uh, uh, uh. Where is it? Margaritaville, Bahamas. I think it's with cruises. Bahama Paradise. So it's this one here. Okay. So here's my YouTube channel um, that we just did the training on. Actually, this was an old one, I think. Yeah. It used to be the Bahama Paradise. Now it's called um, Margaritaville. So again, it's on my YouTube channel. Okay. So definitely, like I said, guys, if you, you know, go in and do these trainings, take advantage of the perks, you'll get invited to familiarization trips and stuff. So again, right here, Margaritaville at sea. Um, you can watch that. Um, all the, the, okay, Travel Agent University, Travel Agent Academy, those are different training programs, okay? Margaritaville at sea, totally separate, okay? Oh, Travel Pulse. Thank you. Thank you, Velvi. Okay. So again, um, stay plugged in, guys. Um, again, up here, these are all training programs that we do a lot of trainings on. So you can do OTT. You can do, you know, one source. You can do Travel Agent University, Travel Agent Academy. And they all have different trainings from them. Okay. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Again, thank you. If you're brand new, did you learn something? Did you have fun? Um, again, it's just a lot of fun to, to get to know the different things, get to know each other, you know, as agents. What is your current rank? Um, that means if you're a consultant, maybe you're a silver, maybe you're a platinum, okay? So if you're, if you're just starting out, then you're a consultant. You're welcome, guys. Anytime. Cruising power, yes. Cruising power is Royal Caribbean, correct? And again, I'll see you. Um, hopefully, I'll see you Thursday for the accountability program and then Friday for Uganda. All right. Thank you. Have a great May day. I guys. A question. Okay, go May ahead. I ask a question. Yes. Okay. Um, how you were talking about uh, the groups. How can I be a part of your group so that? I don't miss any of these things so, because the only time that I'm able to do the certification, which by the way, I love it because I get, you know, kind of bored and, you know, doing it by myself. So this right. is great doing it as a team. Right, so right. how do I get to be on your team so that um, I don't miss any of these and I can stay on top and I don't have to always seek my calendar to top notch. I could just go ahead and, you know, join your team and get the notifications directly. Okay. Um, just so you know, now whose team are you on? Um, I am on team top notch. Okay. Is that in rising tide? Um, uh, uh, I don't know all the specifics. Is that, that, is that Sue Shill? Sue Shill maybe? Uh, yes. She's okay. in there. Um, but okay. my mentor who brought me on, Sheila Allen. Okay. So, so you're part of Rising Tide. So first off, I post everything here on Evolution Enterprises. Okay. So all my trainings I post here. Okay. okay. I also post on the Rising Tide site. Okay. Um, because again, I try to open it up to everybody. 
Okay, so rising tide right here, see all. Um, so you should be a part of this group. If not, tell, tell your mentor to get you added, okay? So as you see okay. here, here's my training here. And then um, again, my um, voucher training will be posted, uh, posted probably tomorrow and then the next day. And then like my team is Beach Bosses, okay? That's in Team Infinity. And now we have a few others in our team. Um, and so again, if you're part of our group, this is our thing. And then again, I have, you know, the training there and stuff. So um, this is a training that's now open to everybody, guys. This is today. It's starting in an hour. If you guys want to learn about Disney, definitely get on this one. Okay. Here's the Zoom number. It's at four o'clock today. Okay. Um, definitely. It's a great training. Um, uh, Yanni is amazing. Okay. So just what my main thing is watch, you know, just get into these groups in the morning or something and you'll see the post. Okay. Um, I usually post them like the night before or the day of um, to give you guys fair warning. And then again, you can also plan ahead. I send it out. So right here, you can see all the trainings that I'm going to be doing this month. I'm going to be adding, like I said, Sunday now, um, the 24th and the 31st, I'll add that. We are moving Uganda now to here because Viking River Cruises wasn't open. So I'm fixing this and I'll be sending out an update today. Okay. Is there ever anything that you do that is private that you won't ever post in the other groups? <laughs> uh, probably we do have our own team trainings. Um, but if you want, you know, we have a, like a transformer group where, we, you know, some of the leaders have left or passed away and we kind of like adopted them. There's things that we will share with them and stuff, but like each team has their own trainings and stuff. So some of the team people will only do for certain teams. Um, I usually open mine up for everybody. Okay. So, um, so again, and Yanni, Yanni opens hers up. So, you know. Um, just send me a message and I can maybe add you to that transformer group or whatever. But, um, you know, again, we're part of rising tide. So we all should have the same thing as far as that. Um, you should all have access to it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Of course. Anytime. Morning. Uh -huh. what, what do you have going on tomorrow? I see you all day. Tomorrow is the uh, that you asked in tomorrow, July nineteenth. When? Um, tomorrow. Oh, that's Tuesday. That's today. Yeah, today. Um, so let me pull up really quick. Um, hold on. Um, do to do to. Let me find my flyer. Um, I'll pull up Rising Tide really quick because I'll show you the training that I'm doing on um, Thursday. I'll pull up my flyer. Do, 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 do. I just don't know where I have it right now. All right. So, that's by a tour. So that's my worksheet here that we're fixing and the links. And then the flyer, where is it? Right here. So accountability right here, same, same link that you're on today. So it's, I'll be posting this flyer in these chats then on um, tomorrow and the next day. Okay, so join us for that. Sign up for an accountability partner. And, um, and then hopefully we'll see you on the training on Thursday. And then if not, we'll see you for Uganda on Friday. Okay, guys? So what we say is if we don't see you at the beaches of the world, we'll see you at the bank. And again, stay plugged in. Keep posting. Post, post, post. That's what I was talking about earlier. I was showing some people how to post, okay? You want to stay active. You want to keep posting 20 times a day if you can. Um, you know, keep people watching you. You know, travel, travel, travel. Where do you want to go? Contact me today. Um, so go into my Instagram. Go into my Facebook and pull out any of these posts 
share them, share them, share them. Um, again, because people will watch you. I had one guy that watched me for a year and he says, I don't know how we became friends, but I've been watching you. I want to do what you do. He signed up 15 minutes after checking out the webinar and he start, booked like six cruises. So all these in my Instagram, what? Right here. I didn't book through a travel agent in the hotel, can't buy my reservation, you know? Funny post, interactive post. Like here, this could be you, but you have to think about it. Do you book your own travel? Have you gotten paid? Join me for a free webinar. Bam, just like that. That's all you have to do, guys. And you only need six people in your team to cover your monthly, okay? Keep that in mind. Um, let's help people, okay? Change the world. Get them out traveling. Let people be their own boss. All right, I got to run. I got to go to the bank, but um, it's been fun. I'll see you guys Thursday. Bye, see guys. You. All right, thanks. Ah.